Alright. I'll leave you viewers with the good hands of the other commentators. Alright, me and Crazy Jeff commentated the last set of this, so we're back. In this grand final set. It is yours. Space for inside baseball, I agree with you. It's nice to have a diverse uh, grand finals here. It's oh, right. game one. All right, so join here with Jeff. I believe we commented the two matches. Oh, yeah. This matchup looks familiar. Yeah. Uh, this me and Pedro, Tio here, you or I, just want to give some shout outs to the grand finals. Uh, Eddie Hall for helping us fund this program. Eddie Hall for helping us fund this program. Uh, shout out to Joe uh, for applying the stream. Shout out for all the people who came out of state to come to our tournament. This was a lot of fun. I was really happy with this for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Really great show. You know, this is something we've never seen before. So this is definitely one of the bigger tournaments we've had in the oh, yeah. island, I think. So much talent here. Um, a lot of interesting uh, characters for sure. You know, we didn't have a lot of space in mains. Um, there was a lot of ice climbers here. A lot of ices, yeah. You know, it's a good trend, I believe. <laughs> You can even tell he got like the, the less than perfect angle so that he wouldn't go off the edge, so he just stayed on the perfect round you that first match. Great, great follow-up. So we're gonna see if um, Tyler anything from uh, his past. Um, Definitely see the pills coming back out again. Yeah. Really good space control. Same similar angle to the Sheik's needles. A little slower so they cover more space for one at a time and they bounce back up, which is great. Yeah. Come out again. Looks like Kyle, you know, he's really trying to get more aggressive. Um, down smash, open him up. It seems like he's really keeping it closer now. Too clean back there, too. Read that approach far away. Double pills, wow. Yeah, try to use the back air to clank, but that second one came in. And Yoshi's that. ledge giving him that. Oh, making him whiff that grab. But we're DBC over here. Both survive. Okay. Ooh, reads that full jump hill. Maximum range right there in that hitbox. That was impressive. Oh, not challenging dog at all on the platform. Kyle, very smart with that. All right, let's see the edge guard. Forward air. Clean. Ooh, Ooh goes for Randall. Let's see. Nair him right back on the stage, and then we're back to the pill spacing. Seems like the closer they get to each other, they uh, they like to switch up their aerial approaches. And on the ground, ooh. So Mr. Lemon's been reading that uh, wave dash approach out of shield, and he's been spot dodging it every single time. Yeah. There goes the chain. I don't think that one was intentional. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of full hops from Sheik, which, you know, obviously not a very large difference in jump height between her oh, yeah. and full hop, but it can definitely make a difference. And I'm wondering if it's intentional or sort of nerves thing, because uh, I feel like staying close to the ground, getting out some attacks, uh, more attacks per, per second is going to be good for shutting down sort of Doc's uh, shorter limb range. Oh yeah, definitely trying to get those frames out for sure. Randall, of course, coming in to save the day. Uh -huh. Kyle goes for the wall jump. Seems like Randall's there. on uh, Kyle's side this game. See, you know, Mr. Lemon's just really uh, using the pill so that way Kyle doesn't grab a ledge. Because uh, once Kyle has, once that Sheik is on ledge, you know, really limits Doc's options to get back. Um, so interesting to see his adjustment. And this is actually right back to even. Mr. Lemon had a pretty solid lead. Um, Great wave dash out to punish that. Ooh, see, once he gets that open, he, Kyle is really, really just making Mr. Lemon work for it now. Seems like he's adjusting to uh, Mr. Lemon's pattern of using the pills, but those up tilts, ooh, into the, that was the most disjointed hit I've ever seen. Yeah, and it was a, such a late hit of forward air, too, yep. like you got the very end. Great angle. Cape off the, the ledge. Goes to the platform, that'll be, Not much that's stuck. Usually when the cheeks are in that position, you'll see like a wall jump back air because yeah. the high hitbox, the large high hitbox back air has. It's really useful for just swatting them off the ledge like that. Mm -hmm. Seems like Kyle knew that Mr. Lemon was expecting the back air, but oh wow, 42% just like that. Yeah, I think I think Mr. Lemon went for the DI mix up by forward smashing a little early, and there it is again. There's the that. Thank you. 
The shield, you obviously have the option to just wave dash away or even go for another shine. Oh, yeah. Up B, you've got to worry about it still has normal up B ending lag. Mm -hmm. And so you got to worry about if they read that and they punish it. Just like that. One forward air, full hot forward air, brings it right back. Yeah, and it's all uh, even. This is a very, very important stock to dictate the flow of this set. Especially with best of five. Ooh, so and neutral nine. calls out the full jump. Kyle nodding, you know, he knew. He was like, okay, I'll take that. Mr. Lemon's been reading that so often. Now, counterpick. It's going to be interesting to see, you know, if Kyle wants to go with the same counterpick of, uh, well, I believe it was Found of Dreams last yeah. time. So maybe he'll want to go to Battlefield and maybe get more space, because Yoshi's was pretty tight. Yeah, I noticed that, that with e each option, then uh, I feel like Dreamland, I think Dreamland went pretty well for him, but mm. it seems like Mr. Lemon does great without platforms. Oh, yeah. And with uh, small spaces. And we're back to Fountain, so... Space. Mr. Lemon is really good on the stage. We were actually practicing uh, some friendlies with him before the set. Um, he's playing our TO Pedro, you just heard from him. Um, so, you know, he's kind of Fountain Fresh right now. Uh, played a couple games on Fountain. Um, Mr. Lemon just so 93% in a matter of 15 seconds. He really just knows how to dictate the pace of this, even in tight spaces. And he's keeping he's keeping Sheik up in the air so that she can't get down. Because definitely coming down is one of Sheik's uh, worst hitbox because she has down air as her only real option. Ooh, Ooh, and unfortunately takes the jump. jump. Yeah. 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 Didn't even catch uh, what happened in that scuffle, but Kyle somehow prevails. And now for the first time you see Kyle with the stock lead, so it's going to be interesting to see how he holds it. Kyle is starting to notice that that jab, jab down smash is coming out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Ooh, using the down air to challenge the shield. Let's see, we get the grab open. Yeah, Kyle really looking proficient with these uh, follow-ups now. On ledge, go for the roll. Ooh, goes for the standard getup. Tournament winner. Ooh, dodges the back air. Mr. Lemon's been getting that a lot on him. Seems like Kyle's adjusted to that. Yeah, he's definitely... Uh Ex expect him for a lot. I think it's the first set that we saw earlier uh, earlier today that he's expecting going for the ledge just mm -hmm. because punishing Sheik's up B usually requires that. But requires that aggressive edge guard, yeah. yeah. Oh, and I'll be it for the Sheik. 18% though, we're uh, pretty convincingly. Let's maybe Kyle. Ooh, gets the grab, but Kyle's not going to give that to him. Yeah. Big thing, Doc's now out of, we'll out of crouch cancel range, which is huge for Sheik. Ooh, Doc just goes from center position right away. Doesn't even want to challenge the shield. Just says, I'm going to get in front of you, and I'm going to see what you do. And it gives you so many more options. Exactly, yeah. Throwing out Cape now. Um, seems like Mr. Lemon's trying to pull out some tricks. Um, he's kind of understanding Kyle's, you know... Once Kyle gets that center stage spot, he's really just using the tilts to his advantage. Even hiding under the platform, stalking him, you know, waiting for uh, Mr. Lemon to do something. Goes for the aggressive edge again. That was probably a bait. Ooh, gets Amazing. the other forward smash read. Once again, great control over the angle of his wave dashes. Mm. Not over committing, not also un not under committing at the same time. Down smash. You can definitely tell Kyle has been noticing that he's been spot dodging that. Mm -hmm. Kyle up three to one. Yeah, this is a very interesting uh, flow shift now from uh, losers finals. Or I'm sorry, winners finals. Did they play? Oh, all good. Hill spacing now. Um, oh, cape to turn around. Seems like Kyle's just kind of like instead of challenging it now, he seems to just be waiting for Mr. Lemon to. Uh, once he gets, you know, a couple of pills in, see what he does as an approach. And then Kyle just kind of, you know, crouch cancels whatever he throws down on the ground. DIing the jabs away, that's crucial, so that way Doc doesn't get the grab follow up. Yeah, really difficult. For normal, like, missed tech scenarios, jab reset is really common. And people sort of expect that you can SDI, but for something where it's coming out, you don't know when, you just sort of have to hope that your DI is going to be good enough to get that. Mm. You can see right Ooh, there. Look at that up tilt pressure. Amazing. Exactly. And you can see right there what I was talking about before, how little end lag it has. As soon as it's over, he's immediately in there with another up tilt. The biggest gap that you want to punish for up tilt is in between the two hits because there is enough time to yeah. get a shield grab or something. A lot of new players have trouble finding that gap too, so they end up getting stuck in shield. And a lot of good sheiks will just up tilt, especially like a fox's shield, because it um, forces them to do something out of it. So um, great, great showing by Kyle there. And there, oh, not it. Let's see what he does for the edge guard. Um, respecting it. Refresh, good. Two stock, the lead from Kyle. 
I'd like to see more. I find that Mr. Lemon is getting quite close with those with those down Bs. Oh, it yeah. seems like Kyle's probably still got invinci invincibility. He could easily drop off there and then get to Legend time. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to see him maybe try and contest that a little bit more with the mixing in the short hop and full hop because it really changes where that safe space is. Yeah. Man, Kyle, it seems like Kyle is really adjusting to uh, his uh, full jump reads on uh, Mr. Lemon. He's really getting catching him in the air. Back airing, even back airing through the pill. You saw that last edge guard. Um, mm -hmm. right, let's see. And just really mixing it up well. So uh, Kyle has a lot of momentum now. Uh, and you can, Ooh, you can see with these follow-ups. Yeah, he's, he's just opening them up right now. Almost looking like a like a blowout at this point. Sheik's Nair, really great out of shield option. Uh, three frame jump squat, three frame Nair. Six frames is definitely one of the faster out of shield aerials in the game. So really good for her to just sort of throw that out and say, hey, if you're not doing perfect spacing on my shield, I'm gonna catch you with this. Again, catching the back air, waiting for Mr. Lemon to come through with the pill. Finding that opening. It's that down tilt to get Kyle stage to see the edge guard. Oh, the spot dodge. The classic spot dodge. Jumps from ledge. Um, Yep, voter spacing, just trying to catch him rolling in. Uh, no punish on the missed air dodge. Ooh, a little weird dash in there, forward air. At that percent, that's going to do it. Yep. Yeah, you can see. Yes. That's probably going to do it. What a momentum shift we've seen from winning this final. It seems like Kyle yeah. is kind of down with him a little bit. Um, and once he, uh, once Kyle gets the opening now, he, he seems like he knows uh, exactly what tilts to use and like how to DI out of uh, Mr. Lemon's grab attempts. Seems like he's catching on to what Mr. Lemon is trying to accomplish with his offense. Great job. I like the weight on the get up just to sort of force. You always expect them to get up immediately so you're ready, and then when they add that delay, yeah. forcing him to react instead of going for. Uh, Okay, Mr. Lemon throwing a lot of uh, down smashes out, just trying to like split up Kyle, get him a little bit in the air. Ooh, down tilt, that's crazy. And I like the downward angle on that forward smash to really send him off. That's a DI mix so. up. Right there, he didn't do it. She was a high percent. Clean forward smash and take the stop. Needles. Grab, grab, okay, it starts the chain grab up. Uh, jumps right out of it, avoids the crouch cancel down smash. So he's just hopping over the pills, knowing the patterns. It seems like he's kind of figured out um, what Mr. Lemon likes to do against Sheik in particular. So Mr. Lemon's going to want to mix it up a little bit. Uh, maybe try to go for more aerial approaches. Yeah, I, uh, I, I think the big thing that I'd like to see is, is just maybe take it a little bit slower because it seems like when he's, when he's moving as fast as he does, it gives Sheik time to regain center stage. Yeah. But right now, yeah, Mr. Lemon kind of just uh, playing it really safe. Uh, but Kyle is still respecting it. You know, he's not challenging. He knows when to back off, but he also knows when to push. Right there, you see, as soon as he, he read that, he knows when to sneak his way out of the game. Just a few seconds. He's got to stop right yeah, there. Yeah, Reed's a tournament winner. Um, I don't know if that was a mistake. Maybe he wanted to ledge dash on. Maybe it was just a uh, hard read. Down smash. She still has to jump. Cape, very nice, very nice. I was thinking forward smash, but you know, Cape, probably more guaranteed, safer. I'm expecting that's a reaction, so he'll wait for the upbeat. If he sees it come out where she's going to like, she'll angle it upwards and then fall to ledge. He can just react to that, and then yeah. if she does come on stage, she can just punch the side, you know, the uh, up to you. Yeah, it's very, very different on uh, Mr. Lemon's part, for sure. Now we're back to the pill neutral. I'll throw on some needles. Sneaks in there. Sneaks in there. Catching him in the air. Spot dodge. Mr. Lemon reads that spot dodge. Two. 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 
Being a forward arrow tanks with the team. Initial arrow, I believe. Also, the forward arrow stage. Great tank. Um, oh, that was right a good. I like that. Like, trying to really get that tank falling approach here. Kyle down smash. Get him off the edge. Tries to get him back on stage. Doesn't really get it. Um, to Bills to see if he can squeeze it there. I just want to do that. Just going to push there. There's one top of the shield. Oh, it challenges him with the LP. I've never seen that before. I was assuming he was just going to go to the ledge, but yeah, I guess he decided to hit him with the LP hip hop. Triple roll. No one ever tries to triple roll. The four glory tactics. Oh, she's off stage now. Oh, that's. Oh, but does the forward air from the ledge. Battlefield pick, um, you know, just really want to get that neutral space going. Battlefield's a really good stage. Um, a lot of players prefer the nice evenness of Battlefield, so to say, you know, compared to Yoshi's, like you have kind of uneven, uneven space. But this gives Kyle plenty of time, you know, plenty of space to work with. Um, we'll probably try to use the platforms to stay above Doc, since Doc likes to use the pills to open up that um, approaching space. So. And also, you definitely got to think that uh, Sheik's up B, I think, does much better on this stage compared to Doc's. Yeah. Just because Doc has the sort of restrictive angle on it, whereas Sheik is sort of a little bit more fluid in where she can go. Kyle just, once he gets that, once he gets that opening, he seems like he's just going amazing right in. Crouch cancels. Forward smash from the top platform. I like it. Yep, Kyle being patient on the ledge. He knows amazing how many Solemnites are up there, I think. Doing a great job. It's Doc, such a difficult upbeat to challenge. Oh. And that right there is what I'm talking about. Sheik doesn't really worry about that too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just throws out the forward. <laughs> just... Reading the jump from Kyle, knowing that he did that last dog out of Sheik. <laughs> Try to get the crouch cancel reader. And then once he gets that, he'll start his offense. And that's what we saw first dog. We're uh, definitely, we're seeing Mr. Lemon combat uh, that a lot. He's throwing out, we've well, seen at least three times him just throw out a forward air above that space and he knows Kyle's going to jump right into it. Yeah. That you can definitely get a grab easy. But uh, it, is, it is not safe on shield, but I'm fairly sure you can actually grab Sheik before she can uh, get out of that and grab you. Another forward smash on the platform. With a great two stocks right there. We'll see uh, how Mr. Lemon uses the stocks. I think this is a very important stock. Um, Kyle has a lot of momentum right now. Right there, I feel like. Ooh, that's see, a great upbeat from Kyle. He just did not want to challenge Doc coming down. But Doc, it doesn't matter if Mr. Lemon knows his follow ups, he knows his pursuits. Getting back, waiting for Kyle to, you know, go shop. Ooh, he needs to jump out of shield. Oh, dash, dash into right. He wanted the roll read there, I can tell. Down smash, nice to just cover all the options. Oh, Reed's now held shield for too long. Once again, this level can go for a lot of just straight up attack. I think Kyle's going to that. Forward air, full jump, forward air, no chance. Yeah. Such a difficult move. This auto cancel frames are huge, which makes it uh, as a right tight to really safe. In space, well, definitely, too, yeah. As long as the sheet spaces it well, fades back. It's, it's very hard. Sheik definitely cares you can describe as good hitboxes all around. <laughs> oh, I think he wanted the ledge cancel. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if she can. I don't think she can ledge cancel that because she doesn't have enough speed at the end of her up mm. I feel like I've seen them before, but yeah, probably not possible. Although maybe Kyle didn't know. He's like, all right, I'm just going to put my hand in the game and see what happens. Clank, double clank. Oh, this is uh, now Mr. Lemon has the momentum now. You can tell. He's got center stage too, and he's holding it pretty well. 
right on the platform. I think he's waiting for Kyle to uh, get in the air. He's going to try to get up and shark him right now. Kyle really needs to get back down stage, but he doesn't want to jump on the platforms yet because um, Mr. Lemon is just controlling He's just sharking him real hard. Right now. Looking uh, like Jaws. Gets the grip, reads the full jump approach. Oh, he's, he was waiting for the forward and Kyle does it, but it's high on shield, so that way he has a game. Definitely, definitely has a good up air for that sort of sharking pattern. I mean, it's shorter limbs, sure, but he's definitely got two dip boxes on it. Crouch cancel down smash. Kyle in space that back air well. Uh -oh. Another back air. He's gonna read. Ooh, wait. This is a punish. I think he, uh, maybe he was waiting. He was trying to bait him to uh, jump out of shield. That's why he was just kind of hovering on the ground. Maybe. This is a very, very, very close. Uh -oh. Up air, I like it, but I'm giving him the platform. So let's see how Kyle does. Ooh, that's down air on shield. Gets the forward smash. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Mr. Lemon. What a great, great showing from. Right now, Dr. Mario, there. man. Yeah, Kyle definitely no slouch. That was really good adjustment on both of them. You know, yeah. Kyle really brought the momentum back. Losers um, finals, you could just see it was just sort of Doc. It was Mr. Lemon was just able to sort of execute his game plan, and Kyle wasn't really trying to get around it. Yeah. We saw from both of those games, the, the FD one and that one on the battlefield, despite the loss, you could definitely see Kyle had managed to figure out a lot of sort of the quirks of Doc's game plan was able to combat those, especially like the kill spam was a huge one. Oh that yeah, that was probably the biggest adjustment of the set, and it seems like Kyle, you know, once he kind of got that adjustment, he felt confident, and they started getting his, you know, his usual reads, because I could tell once Kyle started to get his groove, you know, he started getting more comfortable. Um, but, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know, do you want to do an interview? I, I, I don't know, I don't think... I think uh, the game speaks for itself. Yeah, we got to. All right. Um, so we're going to give another shout out. So thanks for everyone coming. Um, you're at FGC. We're a small group of guys. Um, and this is honestly the first time we had a tournament of this caliber. So, you know, thanks again for everyone coming out. Uh, I think our TO Pedro is going to say some uh, some final words before we probably cut the stream off a little bit. Um, thanks. thanks, everyone who watched. Um, like I said, again, shout outs to Joe. Shout outs to all the other. Um, out-of-state players for coming in and um, you arise alive and so is Rhode Island <laughs> so we have weeklies every week on Fridays on Smash 4 at 4 and Melee at 5so I think I want to go play some friendlies. I don't feel like I'm fulfilled today with Melee. And, yeah, I definitely uh, need to get a few more. I want to probably break my fingers by the end of the night, so. Well, uh, I'm Hella Jeff. Uh, I'm Nasher. It's been nice to see you. Uh, I think one shout-out I'd like to give is try and go on to uh, reddit.com slash r slash ssbm. It's a pretty nice place. We're fairly new. We got actually a lot of subscribers, 20,000, but it's a pretty solid space if you want to discuss Melee. Uh, I think everyone, for the most part, is pretty nice. And, uh, we deal with some of the pitfalls of Reddit, but we I try to keep it locked in. <laughs> yeah, man, it's a hell of a good job commentating, Jeff. I All appreciate right, yeah. it. Man. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. You too, man. All right, so this is Nash and Jeff signing off. Thanks again, guys. Really appreciate you tuning in. Um, probably going to have the stream running for a little bit, so play some friendlies. Actually, I might go on stream.